everyone it's um one hour doily again so there have been very many requests for the um, tutorial or some kind of pattern for how to make this one hour doily i keep saying it's one hour because it took me one hour to make it yeah and i've made several so we are starting with the center piece here where I've rolled the thread around just around my finger then this is it it's exactly 26 stitches yeah we'll use a yellow thread for the difference it's 26 stitches then I want us to make the Solomon stitch around you put one stitch in every one loop goes in every stitch uh, uh, from the from the beginning circle you put one solomon stitch loop into one of the of the stitches in the circle so i'll do it and then i'll bring back the 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 next circle This is what the first row looks like. Okay, it has to be full, full, full. Yeah, and then um, when you're at the edge, it's a spiral. So there's no leveling up. There's no level up um, stitch. You just go straight he here. So in between the two uh, Solomon stitches that you made first, there's a loop. This loop, this is where you put the needle, and then you start a new row of Solomon stitch. Now, to make it turn out the way, um, the way my doily came out, here you have to, Yeah, then you put your thumb right here, right here. When you pick the thread, there should be a hole. Then you pick and pick again. And then you end up with this knot. This stitch is also called Solomon, Solomon's knot because this is a knot. All right. Then... Uh, you have to just measure with your own eyes what that length of that stitch should be um, because there is no actual measurement. There is no actual measurement. I, I, in fact, I, even when I did the first doily, I just, um, I just filled, you fill the circle and continue with the stitch. I'm sorry, I have to uh, do through the camera to see through the camera and then there's this uh, uh, knot that's at the bottom you put right in the middle below the two below the stitch and in between the bottom stitch and the top stitch you put here in the middle then this is also a knot 
Then you do the, you have to hold. Then you put the knot. Then another one. Then you have to hold. Then you put the knot. All right. There is no place where we add the stitches. Once the, the doily reaches a place where it's now a flat circle, that's where we end it. So I'll come back, we'll see how many rows we will have done, and then we will close our doily with some um, we'll put an edging. This is the edging. We'll put this edging, which I also show you how to. It's chain stitch knots, and they'll be able to make a beautiful thread. Much bit. All right, it's time for the edge. I've done seven rows of the Solomon stitch. So when we are doing the edge, this is it. Chain three. into the knot, then chain three, stitch into the knot, and make sure you lock it so that it comes out neatly, and then chain three, into the knot. Then from this knot, you see, you lock it, from this knot, you do one Solomon loop 
and go to the next knot. All right, let's do it again. Chain three into the knot. Then chain three into the knot. Another chain three into the knot. Then the loop. All right. Please make sure you don't go in here. It's not here. It's here. Not here. Here. So that this turns into a diamond, a V shaped pattern. The Solomon stitch row went around seven times. This is the eighth. This is the eighth row. This is the last row. It's the eighth row. I think we are now getting to understand one another. And if you haven't understood it, you can always play the video. All right, we've reached the end of the doily. I ran out of um, yellow thread, but maybe it's just as well so that you can see clearly what I did at the end. Now, you remember this doily was spiral. There was no leveling up. So that means when we reach the end, there is a kind of uh, a, a knot missing. So, but that, how I close that knot is just I make shorter loops, this uh, shorter, and then I just lock it into this lower knot. That's the only time you're supposed to lock into a lower knot. And then, this is how I finish my doilies, like this. This is very thin thread, so it's not hurting me when I cut. Now, I want to tuck in this uh, just for neatness sake. I'm going to tuck this in just like that. All right, this is what we have as our doily. Let me display it somewhere else. This one hour doily. I ran out of yellow thread, so I've done an edge with pink thread. Maybe it's just as well so that you can uh, see it clearly. And mistakes can happen, but this is how it turns out. And it will be very easy. For those who are looking for the tutorial, thank you for not giving up on me. Here it is now. And you can add your own twist to it. You can put many colors if you want. You can put uh, uh, more stitches at the bottom to get more rows to make it bigger. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you are, have learned something in this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.